The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Hi, Scott. Wow. That was... That was a huge build up. I don't and care nothing. for the energy that you brought. Why? That's it's supposed to be an energetic show. Because it was you doing it. Oh, that's okay. primarily it. Otherwise, I would have loved it. I mean, <laughs> you should maybe have Derek do the introductions from now on. I'd Ooh, love. Yeah. I'd love. Or to. just a hobo off the street, or sure, whatever. Just anybody but you. We can bring mm-hmm. back Mitch. Is what I'm after. We can bring back Mitch. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Mitch great. He was. That fucker could work a hand puppet like nobody's business. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that about him. That's why he left. Yeah. To mm-hmm. pursue a hand puppet career. Yeah. He won America's Got Talent back mm-hmm. in 1994 with that. <laughs> okay. And also another excellent stand-up comedian. The, we like to call him The Wreck, Mr. Derek Alders. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, it's you. Man, guys. You just drag things down, Scotty. That's what you do. That's, You're a fucking bummer. That's my, that's my job, Jeremy. <laughs> no Buzz, shit. Buzzkill McFuckstick. That's right. That's my job. You I'm very good at it. fucking anchor. Mm-hmm. I You're, am. You are concrete shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Make a sink, boys. Uh, but anyways, guys, welcome in to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. By the way, this is an, uh, a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports. And this is also an adult podcast uh, where we like to... Fuck each other. <laughs> no. Mm-hmm. Uh, no. Right in the asshole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, With our dicks. <laughs> what do you, you, like, you like that whole thing, don't you catch a McFuck stick? No, mm-hmm. I don't. Uh, we like to use foul language if you, if you haven't already figured out. Oh, and by the way, we make inappropriate jokes about nothing to do with sports whatsoever. I forgot that. And part. supposedly fucking loud noises, but I have yet to hear one. Yeah. Except well, for this one. Oh, no. <laughs> no. You're such an asshole. Uh, but, anyways. So they uh, don't know what a fucking loud noise is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. I'll probably make one later. Okay. I bit him on the ear. Yeah. Uh, we got a full. We should have been here before the show. We were making loud noises all over the place. Mm-hmm. This is true. This is true. Uh, but we got a full show. We got a full docket, right? Full docket. Yeah. You like it? Can I go? Why don't Can you I just be excused? <laughs> what me the why don't you dock your fucking headphones and go upstairs? <laughs> okay, seriously. Fine. How do you get worse at this every week? Uh, I'm exhausted, Jeremy. Uh, but we do. We that have a, doesn't explain it. I've seen you tired before. This, uh, I don't know. This is just a rapid decline. Yeah. You okay. might have Alzheimer's. You might want to get that checked out. Yeah, I okay. think so. Okay. Uh, we do. We have a lot of sports to talk about. We've got overrated and underrated questions, perguntas, another draft, and another shitty situation. But like we always like to do, we're going to start off this week with our week, week recap, where we like to talk to you guys and tell you guys what happened to us over the last week. So, Derek. Yeah. What'd you do? A lot of shit. Did you? Yeah. I'm so excited. My best friend came into town. Cool. Uh, from Illinois. So uh, we hung out and drank a bunch. Mm-hmm. And then I took him to the airport yesterday in Kansas City. Uh, hung out in Kansas City yesterday. Uh, almost got in a head-on collision. Nice. That was cool. Yeah, leaving a drive through because that's the most dangerous place, <laughs> and that's typically where you'll find me. Uh, leaving Freddy's. Who, who was at fault? Uh, the other lady. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so you, I had, I had you even, weren't going the wrong way because you can skip in line if yeah, you come from yeah. the other direction a lot of times. I wasn't even like dick deep in the bag going after fries <laughs> yet uh-huh. or nothing. And I was going through, there's a, some back roads you can kind of take just to go over and get to the light. Uh-huh. That way I didn't have to turn across to Major Street yeah. without a light. So I was like, I'll do that. That's safer. And so I stop at the stop sign the car, behind the car in front of me. He mm-hmm. goes. I pull up. Nobody's coming. I start to go, and then out of fucking nowhere, this car on the other side of the stop sign sh- runs it and goes right up. She must have stopped a fucking cunt hair from in front of me <laughs> and then gave me the look like, what the fuck? And I was like, are you kidding me? And she didn't move, nothing. She stayed there, and so I had to like weasel my way around her just barely so I could fucking get out of the goddamn line of traffic so that was fantastic awesome awesome what else happened i almost got struck by lightning that was fucking cool yeah 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, we had a rain delay at the game. Uh, I believe it was on Tuesday. Yeah. Okay. Tuesday. Uh, and it was lightning, and they were still playing. I don't know why they were doing that. I got a Jesus, cool picture to show the you. the first sign of lightning, they shut it down. They wanted to get in five innings, so when they saw it lightning in the top of the second, they thought, we better play these other three innings mm-hmm. so it could be an official game, mm-hmm. which it didn't end up being. Uh, they ended up actually at a couple of points. Uh, the pitcher threw like three straight wild pitches. Because uh-huh. he couldn't hang on to the ball. Okay. Uh, the hitter swung and missed, and his bat went in the dugout. <laughs> you know what would have been better? <laughs> if the bat would have slipped out of his hands and went over the outfield into the light fixture <laughs> and the sparks flying down, and he'd have trotted slowly around the bases. <laughs> so they finally call the game. And I'm looking around, I'm like, fuck, I'm going to get dumped on because there's no parking lot. We have to park like a half mile away. Right. I'm like, I'm going to get fucking dumped on all the way to my car. And I look down, there's an umbrella sitting underneath a desk. And I'm like, hey, anybody know whose um, who's umbrella that is? No, I think it's been here all season. Perfect. I pop the umbrella. I'm walking to my car. I'm talking to my wife on the phone. I get to my door handle. And all of a sudden, I get static electricity down the mm-hmm. handle of the umbrella. Nice. I almost drop it. And then, Boom. Like, instant. Scared the living fuck out of me. There's your loud noise. I was getting ready to say loud noises. There's a loud noise right there. So that happened. Uh Uh-huh. And then, guys, I've hit a milestone. Uh Uh, I'm going to do something nice for Scotty. I brought Scotty a gift. Oh, no. It's actually a nice gift. I don't believe you. So it was a... a hand me down, but it's a nice gift. For those listening, he's unzipping his pants. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh my, I'm so scared. Yeah. Oh, please tell me snakes pop out. No, it's <laughs> actually he can he can put it right up here on display. That's why I'm actually opening it towards Derek. No, that's fine. Are you sure? It's actually a seriously. It's it's. I, I know unless you were at the game the other day. Is oh. it a bobblehead horse's ass? <laughs> <laughs> it is a bobblehead. Oh, that's cool. So they had bobblehead day oh. at the stadium. So, uh, Bo, my friend, my best friend, Bo, and his fiance went and uh, didn't. They didn't want theirs in the long run. They just left it there whenever they left. And I said, "Well, I'll give Scotty one." So hey, there you go. There you go. That kind of looks like me, doesn't it? Uh, a little bit. Mm-hmm. A little bit. Notice so. how it's not talking. Uh huh. <laughs> and speaking of which, Jeremy, I got you something too. Oh. Uh-oh. I know you Uh-oh. have been clamoring for another host. I have. So I brought oh, one. Jesus, do you have a midget in there? Nope. <laughs> no full size guy. <laughs> So I brought a new host. Oh! <laughs> Got a new host for you. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's going to be a while. I was going to uh-huh. say. <laughs> it's going to take you forever to but blow that thing. But keep doing it into the microphone. <laughs> and I am super pumped because I have decided to quit drinking. Uh-huh. Carrot juice. Fair. Fair. And uh, I had a V8. I thought today would finally be the day, Jeremy. Uh huh. Are you ready? I'm born ready. It's fucking horse talk. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I was sitting here wondering. All right. <laughs> I was like, why does Derek have his fucking hat off the whole time? I'm it, going. It no. would be so great if you could get the headphones up on those <laughs> <in> ears. <laughs> this. This is the day we turn it all around. I love it. This may go. be uh, the best day in the history of my life, absolutely. and that includes the day my son was born. This <laughs> um, just went from a you three. Know that uh, horses have the largest eyes of all land mammals. Yes, I did actually. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you did. Yeah, this just made us go from a three star podcast to a six star podcast, mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Three uh, stars may have been pushing it. I know. <laughs> to be honest with you, I wouldn't listen to this fucking show. But that was my um, week. Huh? That's my week. That's your week? Yep. All right. Well, you look great, by the way. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> no, you can't fuck me. <laughs> I don't want to. Uh, anyways. I think um, he's more interested in the cock end of the horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so I guess my week kind of started off kind of shitty. Uh, I I was kind of, I was really bummed out. Uh, rest in peace, Norm MacDonald. Uh, that's a tough one. That's a legend that I, I really, really enjoyed. You think that just happened in your week? No, it uh, happened in everybody's week. Oh. Uh, I, I made a post you know, for fans and comedians everywhere. Uh, that's, a, that's a shitty day. I was actually going to bring my oversized foam rubber cowboy hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a funny. Big hat. It's big hat. Big hat. Bigger than normal hat. Uh, it's funny. funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's that. 
Uh, Derek is blowing up a fucking... Our co-host. <laughs> our our co-host. new host. <laughs> for laughing on the sidelines. Vicky. <laughs> Vicky the blow-up doll. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so, if you didn't already notice, uh, we got permabanned on uh, TikTok for a day. Mm-hmm. Which, that's a lot of fun. Um, I appealed. It Isn't t- that what they use for, uh, like, physical therapy? Permaband? Per- sure. I don't know. Theraband is what it's called, Scotty. Uh, I have no Jesus idea. Jesus Christ. Get injured for a change, would you? I don't. So you can find out. I'm going to fall on the I'd like to see you hurt yourself. Picky. You got a lot of, you got a lot way to go. If I had done this, I'd have brought my compressor. She's old. <laughs> oh, she is old. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so, there's that. We got permaband for a day. So, here's what basically happened. One of the videos that I that I did, the one, the one that I shared most recently got taken down because of, uh, like, uh, bullying and harassment. And it got taken down probably, I don't know, 10 hours or something like that after I shared it. Is it the one where you knelt down behind the retarded girl and I pushed her over? (laughs) No. Because that may have been legit bullying. Because I called her a bitch when I did it, too. Yeah. Uh, No. Look at those tits. (laughs) (laughs) That's, uh... If anything is ever going to get people to start watching the YouTube more than the, the audio, this is this it. This is yeah. fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Derek is going to new levels to try to get us uh, cancel cultured. And so... I don't know if she's farting. <laughs> oh, All yeah. right, Scotty, you All right, just want to hop up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm Move, good. Scotty. Just put her, All right. no, just just put her right there. Her no, she's hosting. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome back to We're Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, a.k.a. Horse Talk. This is Vicky. Yeah, hang on. There we go. Oh, there we go. This is the craziest shit we've ever done, I think. There we go. What do you mean we? Derek's doing Derek, it all. Derek's there, doing it all. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. <laughs> really perfect? We're going to go with that? I think I think it looks pretty good, Jeremy. <laughs> Way better than what it was before. <laughs> all right, all just right. get rid of that fucking belt, and we'll be all good. <laughs> How the fuck are we supposed to concentrate? Huh? Oh, you're done now. No, but, no. yeah. What's yeah, this yeah. we shit? Yeah, you're me just, and Jeremy are gonna be fine. You get on the fine. ones and twos, and we'll just uh, take mm-hmm. over from here. Yeah. Let's face it, you're not bringing anything here anyway. <sighs> yeah. Okay. It's like it's like Derek's filet mignon. I'm loaded mashed potatoes, and you're a sandwich Kale. bag full of fucking Hydrox cookies. That's, <laughs> that's where you're at. You brought that for dessert. Okay, but seriously, for like material, can no, we, can no, we get this out of here, please? Ser- seriously, uh, you, you are you're what's killing the show. I know. <laughs> it's like it's like it's like I'm a Fender Stratocaster. Derek's a Gibson Les Paul, and you're that fucking Fisher Price xylophone. <laughs> That's there just a sad piece of plastic with wheels and uh, boogers on it. Right. Check it out. I'm Jeff Dunham. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. So, anyways, I'm going to get what back. That's he's missing. Yeah, I'm going to get back. It sure is. <laughs> yeah. oh, big, obnoxious titties. <laughs> and with a horse, horse head. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, I'll get back to my uh, story. We got permabanned uh, because of a video. I appealed. But it, it's amazing how, how fast that we were permanently banned uh, unless I did not, if I did not appeal, uh, that, that account was gone. Well, so, I don't know if it was your appeal so much, Scotty, as I sent them a strongly worded message <laughs> <laughs> in an ambient haze. <laughs> okay. There, there was a lot of motherfuckers in there I'm and sure. cocksuckers, and uh, I think that's probably what did it. Could have been. Um, but anyways, so even though I didn't tell them I was at all associated with the show, <laughs> right? Uh, but that account is back up. Only we cannot post anything. We can't post anything um, or make comments. We can't comment on our own posts. Uh, so I know that there's some questions that I've been wanting to answer, or um, you know, whatever. But we can't even comment back on our own page. Uh, so even though it, the video got put back up and we were basically told, no, we didn't do anything wrong. We still had uh, a punishment for a week. Uh So, yeah, there's that, which is fun. But we should be back up and running. However, if we got banned that quickly, I would go and follow the Laughing on the Sidelines 2 because uh, it will probably come into play very shortly. What what should be the subheading to that? Like, 
Laughing on the sidelines, too. Laughing without Scotty. <laughs> I, think. I like Too Fast, Too Furious. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, where's that? Uh, I do have I do have to tell you guys about this, and I'm extremely proud of this. So I was at the Wind Surge game on uh, Friday, I believe. Yeah. And uh, me Wichita and... Wichita Wind Surge? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, baseball game, and I was walking around the concourse with my wife. Mm-hmm. And uh, my wife, my wife, and all of a sudden, mm, I like she's throwing on plow. Yeah, I hear, oh. "Hey, Scotty!" And I turn around. It's n- I can't see anybody I know. And there's this young man that walks up to me. And how young was he? He was probably in his <laughs> mid twenties, I would bet. Le- early twenties, mid twenties. Dog years. He was so he's about so, four. Yeah, yeah. yeah, three, four. And uh, for it was, and he asked for a picture with with me because he's a big fan of the show. And with he, you? Nah, uh, probably not. I, I guarantee you, I'm nobody's favorite. How no, <laughs> no. Jeremy is the mm. favorite on this show. That is 100 percent Not anymore. True. <laughs> Vicky is the favorite <laughs> on the show. Uh, hey, but, Vicky, what do we got going on here? Let's <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right, she just she's just gonna read over your Rape. shoulder. Let's go to our woman on the street. I'm getting raped by a Vicky. I'm getting raped by a blow up doll. We can't put any of this. That's on weird that you're on the receiving end from a blow up doll. Oh, that's how weak, weak you are. Oh no. man, you better not put a hole in her. I don't think I did. She's already She's got, already it got three. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but th- th- and honestly, that was the very first time that that's a- ever happened to me, to where it was like nobody that I I didn't know. And he comes up and he goes, <laughs> "Nobody's ever wanted a picture with you before, <laughs> yeah, not even yeah. family." No, your wedding pictures. The photographer asked you to get the fuck out of the frame. <laughs> but he made the comment. He's like, "I'm sure you guys get this all the time." And I wanted so bad to say, "No, no, <laughs> no." If anything, nobody ever recognizes. If if somebody does recognize us, I don't think that uh, they would have you know those balls. Uh, to come up and, and actually want a picture, but it made my entire week. That was my best part yeah. of my week. Yeah, Thank you don't you come person. from show business like me and Derek do. That's yeah. right. No, I signed a boob once. Mm-hmm. Did yeah. oh, good for it you. was my own. But I, I, was, <laughs> I was asked to sign butt cheeks once, and I was going to use as whole as the O <laughs> in Joseph. <laughs> but nice. I, I told him if we go out to the parking lot, I'll do that, and he wouldn't do it. Because I didn't want to do it inside the bar where we were at. Mm. Sure. Uh, that was, was my was week. Your, was your dad mad? <laughs> no. no. Not, not really. <laughs> okay. He was a little bit upset with the penmanship, but other than that, he was good. No, he wouldn't do it, Scotty. Oh. My, my dad only take his pants down in bars. <laughs> <laughs> you should know that about my old man. I was conceived in a beer joint. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, that's my week. What, what happened to you, Jeremy? Not much. You got any inflatable <laughs> naked... Big boob yeah, this shit. is by far the most exciting <laughs> part of my week. I like how it looks um, like she just wrapped up a guitar solo down there. <laughs> <laughs> there's just there's just a fucking horse that's just re- peeking over the desk. <laughs> no, Derek, leave it down. I can't put any of that material on there. Well, that needs to be the show picture <laughs> on the thumbnail. I can tell you that. Um, but uh, no, uh, I guess this comes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Sorry. What? I'm trying to save your phone. I know, I know. Multiple times. I'll just, I'll, I'll let you guys quit fucking around <laughs> before I get to the serious business. Sorry, Sorry. I was getting re- I'm, I'm going to go apply at Kobe, too. I, uh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oddly enough, that was uh, the reason my wife and I went to Kobe's that day is actually here again. Uh, tomorrow, I guess it'll be the day that this comes out. My wife's birthday. Oh, hey. So happy yeah. birthday to her. Happy birthday. It's a big one, too. Oh, yeah? Speaking of old ladies, um, 50. Oh, 50. big five so, zero. Yeah. Good for her. And uh, what she asked for was... Uh, no sex. No Scotty is what she <laughs> asked. I was wondering why I didn't get the invite. She wanted to meet Vicky. Yeah, okay. And, uh, you know, get her autograph mm-hmm. and... Uh, Get a picture taken without Scotty. Is actually <laughs> what she wanted. So, right. um, yeah, I uh, haven't given her a present yet, but she kind of knows what it is. Uh, getting her a vacation. We're going. She's always wanted to uh, go to that Harry Potter world because oh, uh-huh. God knows that's what adults do. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's I'm um, gonna take her down there probably February. It's fun. I doubt it. Um, I'm I'm not a big fan of people, and there seems to be people. How about, oh, Harry yeah, po- how, how about Harry yeah. Potter? Are you a fan of Harry Potter? 
I used to be till they put it on all the fucking time. Oh my god, <laughs> dude! She can watch that movie over and over and over again. You all don't have them. to buy it. You can no, use, it's always on. And and that's what I don't get. She'll go searching for it when we own them all on multiple different fucking mediums. Laser discs, mm-hmm. Betamax, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, eight millimeter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I took. I, that's pirated. I took a, a fucking Super 8 into the fucking <laughs> theater with me. And you got I, was, I was trying to put that out on eBay and got shut down pretty quick. Damn. Put the little coin in, watch it in the Nickelodeon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Great. Uh, I, made a, I made a drawing book of it. That you, just yeah. Just a flip yeah. book. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. I did watch a couple of movies this weekend. Uh, I watched Malignant. Uh, oh. Oh. oh no, they, made, they make tumors about that. They sure do. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. No. I'm more of a benign guy. I sure. like those better. I I didn't care for the movie or for your joke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the joke was fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> what's the movie? Malignant. I, what's it about? Uh, I don't know what it is. Stupid. <laughs> That's okay. what it's about. It's about uh, this fucking malevolent thing that kills people. Oh. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I watched uh, Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. That's actually pretty good. Okay. I liked it. Tom Hanks was great in it. Tom Hanks is a great actor, period. I know. Have you ever seen Bachelor Party? <laughs> Fuck, kicks ass. <laughs> Joe versus the Volcano? He's wonderful in it. No, no. I, I still, I'm a big guy. I like big. Yeah, yeah big, big is actually my Man favorite. with one red shoe. These are some of his finer works. Okay. Um. Other than that, really didn't do a fucking thing. I've been trying to not do anything physical because I don't want to. Mm-hmm. And also to try and get my fucking elbow to heal, and it won't. <laughs> that sucks, buddy. I'm sorry you're in so much pain. I really am. You know what? That doesn't make me feel better at all. <laughs> in fact, if anything, it just pissed me off. <laughs> okay. You want me to have the horse host? <laughs> yes. Okay. I, I thought I was very clear on that. <laughs> Uh, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeremy. Going to Harry Potter World is going to be expensive. So, what if I were you? What I would do is probably sell some stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, <laughs> fund that trip. Make an extra money for that. Yeah. yeah. Surely you got a brand new table saw laying around you can get rid of. <laughs> <laughs> maybe some cabinets. Yeah, probably. <laughs> some shelves, yeah. maybe. <laughs> maybe an old truck. <laughs> Well, uh, I got to do that on Craigslist. Uh, yeah. That's how you really bring them out. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So that's our week, week recap. Uh, but before we get on to the sports in today's episode, we got to talk about our sponsor, which is manscaped.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, and um, yeah, excellent, excellent products that they that they make to help keep your, uh, your nether regions nice and groomed, smelling nice and feeling good. Right, Jeremy? That's absolutely right. In fact, uh, you know how dedicated I am to the craft of podcasting and how I really want to be loyal to our uh, to our sponsor. And so I take it upon myself. I got a gym membership, and I, I don't go work out, but I'll go hang out in the locker rooms a couple times a week <laughs> just to see <laughs> what people are working with. And I'm telling you, there's some guys out there, their pubic hair would be a trip hazard. <laughs> that is oh. not OSHA approved. It would get caught up in machinery if they were working naked. That's grody. That's gross. No shit. And so I try and, you know, drop them a little hint, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Promo code sidelines. That's right. Yeah. Jeremy actually is in there shaving. His, he's doing mm-hmm. demos mm-hmm. With, <laughs> with the 4.0. Well, Sh- shaving his balls. Want me balls. to give you a little trim up? <laughs> yeah, JP's right next to him helping out. He's got one of those little capes they put around you, only it's just really <laughs> yeah. tiny size. Just goes right over. Just Slip your dick over the top of it. Come <laughs> on. Got the little brush. <laughs> <laughs> just blowing on it. Mm. What are we doing here? Are we doing a two guard or a one guard? <laughs> well, ceramic. you know, with that lawnmower 4.0, you get your choice of guard. <laughs> yeah. It's true. That is true. And, and, and every one of them, because I was using mine, the 3.0, and every one of them was like, Put out the fucking light! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, yeah, but the 4.0 does have the adjustable LED light, so mm-hmm. that way, just in case you're in a poorly lit you know, bathroom there in a the YMCA there, Jeremy, uh, mm-hmm. you can adjust that light. Help yeah. you out. Well, I'm telling you, the fucking locker room at the gym is the best place to do it because people are too worn out to hit you. <laughs> yeah. So you can get in really close and yeah. just 
give them a good look, see, right. see what they're working with. Right. They've got other products that uh, we've all tried. I've got the um, I've got the weed whacker. That's my favorite. I've got that too. That is uh, that is to get rid of all your nose hairs, and uh, those are annoying. And ear. And ear, I guess. I use them primarily on my nose. I don't quite have ear hair yet. Mm-hmm. Right. Just let me suggest for the people who are like, I can just buy that and do everything with it. You'll you'll be at the balls for a while. <laughs> it, it's good, but it's not that good. <laughs> the weed whacker, you mean? Yes. Okay, uh, but they also have, like I said, other other products. They got the deodorant for your balls. That is very important. I know everybody here has gotten you know sweaty down there, and it you can it, you can smell it. It stinks. I don't sweat down there, Scotty. You wouldn't believe it. That, uh, that's amazing, Jeremy. He glows. I, I sure do. <laughs> he glistens Any, down there. Anytime that anything gets warm, it heats up like steel. <laughs> oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's like a blacksmith shop in my pants. <laughs> well, for us humans, uh-huh. uh, the ball deodorant is amazing. Also, the ball toner, that helps out a lot as well. Uh, you should check them out at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off your order and free shipping. That also helps us out a lot. Let's them know that we are doing the reads like we're supposed to. Covers everywhere, right? Bush to tush? Bush to tush. Crank to stank? Hold the pole. All right. Yeah. Nature's pocket to flesh rocket? <laughs> yes! All right. That's true. All of them. You That's should the- demonstrate on Vicky where, <laughs> where all you can no, get. No! Let me grab her by the tent and lift her up here. Okay. <laughs> so you can basically go from right around this region here. <laughs> yeah. Let's just imagine she's got a big old winger there. That's what Scotty's Vicky looks like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to, to right up around Dickie. this area. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's Dick. Richard. Yeah. <laughs> he goes by Richard. Yeah. So that's where that goes. Uh, okay. Back to you, Scotty. We've <laughs> so uh, never had visual aids on the show before. <laughs> no, this is impressive. Oh, oh God. Man, she's going down. Good. Good. She yelling timber? <laughs> <laughs> no, she's yelling. <laughs> <laughs> she going down on you or Jeremy? Because no. you're sure not going down on me. Not yet. <laughs> All right. Well, moving on, we do have some sports to go over. We've got uh, a lot of stuff to, to talk about that. <laughs> well, <laughs> Derek is just losing his shit oh, over this damn blow up doll. This is great. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to start off with uh, um, our uh, home team here in Wichita, Kansas. We have a uh, minor league double A team who is now. <laughs> oh, <No>, man down. <laughs> who is now. And basically the World Series for double A <laughs> baseball. <sighs> Are we going to have to shoot it? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Who wants glue? <laughs> uh, but yeah, double A uh, World Series. What do they call that? The double A Central. Double A Central. Is it the World Series or Championship Series? Championship, Championship Series. Championship Series. Yep. Okay. So Wichita is in that. Is uh, it not the Texas League anymore? No. no. I'll be goddamn. No. Uh, against the Northwestern uh, Arkansas Travelers. No. No, sorry. Northwest, Northwest Arkansas Naturals. Naturals. I apologize. Formerly the Wichita Wranglers. That is correct. So we're paybacks a bitch, you fuckers. Double A affiliate it, of the Kansas City Royals. Mm-hmm. Is it weird when the Arkansas Travelers has a home game? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're pumped for that. That's why I'm decked out in wind surge gear. But none of them are because they didn't get the memo. Uh, but I've uh, worn it 60 times this year. I understand. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Major League <clears throat> Baseball though we we actually do have uh, a wild card excuse me wild card race going on. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is uh, in the National League currently, the St. Louis Cardinals have the last spot because the other spot the the first wild card spot is going to be the Los Angeles Dodgers. Mm-hmm. Just, I mean they're ridiculously far ahead, but uh, the American League's got more of a race going. Um, yeah, there's way better teams. <laughs> that, I'm not going to say you're lying. You shouldn't um, because I'm a truth teller. You're telling the truth. Uh, St. Louis currently has a three-game three, three game lead over Cincinnati and a four-game lead over uh, San Diego and a four-and-a-half-game lead over Philadelphia. Those are basically the teams that are in the hunt. There's 13 games left, uh, 12, actually, by the time you're listening to this tomorrow. As far as I'm concerned, there shouldn't be any races in there but fucking Jackie Robinson. That's true. Um American League, though, uh, it's all been clinched. Uh, Boston is a game and a half up uh, on the first wild card. Toronto is uh, got the second spot. But then below them, New York Yankees half game. Oakland two games. Seattle three games. So it's a pretty close race for that second spot. Uh, and even the first spot. I mean, you can have any one of these teams all of a sudden take a nosedive. But um, everybody knows, at least if you listen to this show on a regular basis, 
you just got to make the playoffs. That's all you got to do. Make the playoffs, and everything that you did through the entire season basically means absolute and total bullshit. What What does our show have to do with that? Well, we don't control it. We just say that They should actually year. watch baseball. That's how they can figure that out. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, we say that. Uh, we've said that on the show two don't years Don't include in me in your bullshit, Scotty. Actually, you are the one who said it. Just, just I don't it. think that's true. This is true. I have never said anything on this show. Let's go back to tape. Yeah. yeah. Go back to tape. While Derek blows that fucking doll back up. Yeah. yeah. She's <laughs> starting to look like my grandmother over she's, here. She's a little limp. Wrinkled and on the ground. Yep. Uh, but out of all of these teams, do you have anyone that you think if they made the wild card spot in either AL or NL have an actual chance of uh, winning it? Scotty, I haven't watched professional baseball since the trade deadline. I know. I just watch minor league and that's it. I know. So Derek doesn't have an opinion. No. Nope. Jeremy? I don't want to talk. <laughs> Fine. Go Cardinals. Jesus. Moving on. No, the Dodgers are – Certainly in the hunt. Uh, I think the I think the Dodgers are probably going to be the obviously the World Series champions when this is all said and done. I, I really did. I did read that Scherzer's got a point seven two ERA and has allowed five earned runs since he's became a Dodger. That's fucking. That seems good. <laughs> you know, five's a lot. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah I'd be it. that dad at the little league games. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, where my kid could hit like four home runs, and I'm mm-hmm. like. You struck out in the third inning. Yeah, <laughs> you're hey. walking home, you fucking loser. <laughs> Get me a beer. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, but we'll be. That's why uh, I don't have kids, Scotty? No, I understand. Same reason. Same exact reason as I as me. Uh, all Not right. Because I can't have sex. It's because I don't want them. Right. Different reasons. Oh, mm-hmm. got it. Mm-hmm. Just they both happen to be true. Yeah. Uh, but we got some. Uh, we got a lot of NFL to go over. A lot of NFL. First things first. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask Jeremy uh, what he thought of his uh, Kansas City Chiefs situation over the weekend. There, buddy. What are you talking about? Uh, basically, having every opportunity to win the game, going into a situation where all they really had to do was run some of the clock out mm-hmm. and kick a field um, goal. Well, uh, the thing is, it should have never come to that. They yeah. had a double digit lead in the fourth quarter. This is uh, Andy Reid's fault. A hundred percent. It always is. Andy, it always is. Well, Andy Reid cannot figure out that if you don't have a shutdown defense, which he has never had in Kansas City, right? No lead is fucking safe, and yet he always fucking takes his foot off the gas. Jesus Christ! I brought beers. <laughs> You're like the new Scotty over here. No, You're I'm fucking drinking problems. I'm drinking. I'm drinking whiskey tonight. I'll get it. I was just more talking about you being a fucking booze hound. Oh, well, that's both of us. You're like Scotty drinking his breakfast. It was nice outside, and so I thought when I got home, I might want to have some beer. So I only have 25 left after these four are gone. (laughs) There you go. There you go. Beer. Back to you, Jeremy. Back to you, Jeremy. Fair enough. Um, But no, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where, yeah, there were some uncharacteristic turnovers that looked like Mahomes was all geared up. To, to make the comeback and, and win in the last minute. But it's like you can't take a team that's a high-octane team, slow them down, and then ask them to start back up again. No, I, I get it. It never fucking works out. It's not this. It, it's, my question is, is there a bigger fucking disappointment at running back than Clyde I, Edwards-Alaire? Holy shit. Just like, a, I thought that guy was going to be uh, fantastic, especially in that offense. He's terrible. Yeah, he's he doesn't. I don't know if they don't use utilize him right. They don't have a very good. It doesn't seem like a, a run offensive line. Yeah, right. Doesn't make very many holes. Well, they but overhauled seems, that entire fucking line in the know, off season. But I think they geared them towards uh, pass defense. Yeah, pass protection. But uh, and and I don't know that he's really a very good back at, when it comes to catching passes. Well, he's a first rounder, so typically your first rounder should be able to do a lot more than what he's done. I agree. Out of a out of a top tier program. I agree. So I, I just when he dropped that ball, I was watching that game with my stepmom and I was <clears> like, there's no way they're gonna lose and then ball pops out and I'm like, yeah. You've gotta be fucking kidding that me. That was his first fumble um in his in his career in his career in basically his career. yeah in his career and in college included <clears throat> yeah well he's goddamn though he only gets forty yards a game forty five yards a game he's in my opinion he's more of a scat back that can't catch as much as as much as they throw that ball and as much as that pass game is as 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 big of a threat as it is mm-hmm. 
Alaire should have fucking <laughs> yeah, no they, problem running that damn ball. They, mm-hmm. There should be nobody in the fucking box. No. He should have he should his have choice daylight. of wherever the fuck he wants to go. Absolutely. And it seems like they never have any holes for yeah. him. Yeah, that sucks. Um, as opposed to Vicky. <laughs> He's got three. That's yeah, right. I will point those out right now. <laughs> no, just leave him alone. Her. Uh, Scotty really, keeps eyeball fucking her. You seen that? Her alone. That's fucking sick, Scotty. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Show some respect. Uh, He's, right, he yep. gonna fuck that horse. Nope. Uh, fun fact: Tom Brady is on pace to break the NFL passing yards record. Duh. In New England, he's okay. about four hundred yards away. Okay. He plays the Rams this week, okay. and then the Patriots in New England the following week. Whose record is it that he will? Drew Brees. Drew Brees's. And so. I uh, poetic justice, I think. Is it? I wonder. I I think. That obviously the fans will welcome him with open arms that week. But I'm wondering if him and uh, Belichick are cordial. They don't like each other. I, I, don't, I don't think they liked each other when they were on the same team. When they are on the same no, team. No, they didn't. Uh, <clears throat> but I'm wondering how that exchange is going to go. Because I, I really do think that's the game that he is going to break it. I, I really do. I think he's going to probably throw maybe 180 yards uh, against the Rams defense, who's a great uh, defense in the NFL. Um, but I would bet that he would do it in New England. And that would be just poetic justice. And I wonder – I mean, I'm assuming they'll probably stop the game and what, give him a hoo-ha. But. What, what, what would be poetic about it? He left them. He left them, but I don't think he left them because of the fans. I think he left them because of the situation. No, and if those fans at all boo him or anything, they you'd want to talk about fucking ungrateful. No, oh, I don't think they will. They were such a shit team until he got there. I agree. I agree. Uh, but I'm I'm hoping that it happens because if it does, that's awesome. That's okay. that's that's cool. Uh, next thing, did the New Orleans Saints make the incorrect decision of their quarterback? For the uh, for the Saints, did they make the wrong decision? Because after Winston's last week, he didn't look good. No, he have a good no. Um, I yeah. don't think that it really matters. Neither one is a terribly good quarterback. I don't think. I I still think that it was just a bad week. I think he just had a, a rough week. I'm not saying he's going to be. I'm not saying he's going to be a top five quarterback or anything like that. But I don't. I think he literally just had a, a rough week. Um, and. He didn't throw any touchdowns. He ran one in, but he had two interceptions, and they were pretty bad. They looked pretty bad. You know, they're awful. It's weird because right before the show, you were like, he's going to be a top five quarterback. I didn't ever say that. Yep. I, I, I heard it. Yeah. But do you think they would have... Did you hear that? No. She heard it. She heard it. Do you think they would be in any better situation if they would have uh, Hill as their quarterback? Peyton Probably Hillis? Not. No. You say Hillis? Hill. Hill as their quarterback. As I thought you said Hillis. No. I'm like Peyton Hillis has been out of the league oh, for a long time, Scotty. Basically. I don't think well, that's going to help. Maybe he should try coming back as come a back. quarterback for the Saints. Yeah, <laughs> sure he could throw a ball. Sure, yeah. yeah. Couldn't, couldn't have done any worse. Yeah, get him. Get Cadillac Williams over there. <laughs> right. Damn the right. Ball. Yeah. Get some competition. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what do you think? Do you think that they would be in a better situation if they would have had him as a quarterback, or better as as with? Uh, no, they're, they should. They're going to draft somebody. They should well, see they what Seneca to. Wallace is doing. They need to. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's old Seneca up to? Yeah. Alex Smith, that's who they should go get. Truck, yeah. Right. That actually, I wouldn't be opposed to that. Um, Give me th- comeback player of the year again. Yeah. 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 Are, the, uh, are the Denver Broncos good, or are they legitimately a great 2-0 t- and o team? No. I, I watched that game. Dominating Jacksonville is not a fucking <laughs> tough thing to do. I think the three of us could probably beat Jacksonville. Yeah. <laughs> Just um, us three? Yep. Who's quarterback in this bitch? Not you. Oh, man. Oh, it's Jeremy all day. He threw yeah. four touchdowns in a single game. No, you're, you're a fucking punter, Scotty. <laughs> okay. <at best. laughs> all right. Actually, you're the fucker who goes and gets a tee oh. off after the kickoff. <laughs> That's all you're there for. They got dogs then, that do then that Then they shit. towel snap his ass in the locker room until he leaves. <laughs> How great is that, by the way, when the dogs go get the fucking tee? It's fucking awesome. I love it. It's great. Yep. Uh, so everybody thinks that the Broncos are a fluke? Sure. I no, think They're not a fluke. Okay. They've... They're a where where are they gonna end up in the in in uh the uh AFC West? Third. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fourth. I think the Chargers are Fourth. better. Fourth? I think the Raiders I think are better. they're better than the Raiders, but we'll see. I I, I think that they've had a, a pretty decent last couple of games. I think Bridgewater was an was a better choice than Drew Locke. 
Um, I I like the the connection he's having with wide receivers. Cortland Sutton's fucking amazing. Uh, Tim Patrick as well is a is a pretty good um, wide receiver that he could throw to. So I'm kind of impressed with them. I still do think that they they end up as third, but yeah, I, I'm more impressed with them this year than I thought I would be. Uh, next thing, uh, who is the worst team in the NFL now? The worst team? The worst the team? The Jets. The Jets? It hasn't changed. Yeah, you think so? Yes. You think the Jets are worse <clears throat> than the Jaguars? Yes. Okay. I don't I don't know. I think that's going to be a close game between those two. Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I've actually, as much as I hate them, have seen a lot of improvement out of them this year. They gave – The Cowboys? Yeah. yeah they gave I, Tampa I, I Bay agree. a hell of a run, and, I mean, they kept up. And, actually, they, no, they won, didn't they? They won, yeah. yeah. They, I just hate their coach. I hate them. Yeah. I don't like anything about them. Uh, Dak Prescott did not look good uh, this lack last week, though. Uh, Boy, Zeke is looking like shit. <laughs> I like that about he got, it. He got paid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the point? Mm-hmm. Pollard remember, is a way better running you remember back when currently. Chris, when Pollard? Chris Johnson yeah, had that two thousand yard season mm-hmm. for the Titans, and then just you never heard he got paid, and then you never heard anything from him again. Mm-hmm. So I remember that. That happens. So unfortunately, over the last week. <laughs> That's my commentary on that. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> that happens. For, you, get, you get that big contract, and then all of a sudden you aren't worth a fuck. Don't right. live up to it. Yeah. So uh, over the last week, unfortunately, Andy Dalton ends up getting injured in week three. Yeah, unfortunately. I did say unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I did say that. Um, but now this is going to be Justin Fields is going to be the starting quarterback for week three. Derek. Maybe. Well, have they said what's wrong with Dalton? Bone bruise. Yeah. I I don't That's not a real thing. They made that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but do even if Dalton is somewhat let's say he's 75%, do you still play him over Fields? No. Okay. 85%. No, about 90. 90 90 to, or, 90 to 100, that's whenever you play Andy mm-hmm. Dalton. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think he'll start this week, but yeah. they haven't ruled that out. And Matt Nagy's a fucking idiot. In the press conference, they go, uh, so when Andy Dalton's healthy, is he your starter? Is he going to be the starter right. again going forward? He goes, when he's healthy, is he going to be the starter? Yeah. I'm sorry. I, that's scheme. I can't answer scheme. That's scheme question. And what he a goes, fucking idiot. And so then he goes out. He's like, that's not scheme. He goes, that's scheme. And then after the press conference is over, he sends a PR guy out. And goes, I didn't understand the question. You repeated the question. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking not understand the question. So, yeah, Dalton will be our guy if he's healthy. They're, we're committed to Dalton. Yeah. The yeah. doctor is actually going to determine just how healthy he is when you say that 90%. Uh, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, he's got his patented health meter and that's where he stands <laughs> there and does this. <laughs> And it it goes based on applause. <laughs> well, what's gonna fuck it all up is the reason he. I, don't, I think the reason they don't want to play Fields is because they have an excuse to keep their jobs another year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So oh, yeah. if if Dalton goes zero oh, and or one and seven or one and six, and then you put in Fields, you're like, well, Fields went five hundred, and he goes and and he's looking, he's got some improvements going, but you know we might have been better if we would have done this the whole time. And it gives you an opt out. It gives you an, an escape. So mm-hmm. I that's why they're not fucking playing them. Yeah. No. I I one hundred percent agree with you. But the other thing is, is that I also agree with what Jeremy said over the last week. Was you could seriously ruin that kid by putting him into the NFL in a game too quickly, getting him hurt. You can get him hurt, especially get him when hurt. But playing quarterback in the NFL is every bit as much mental as it is physical. Mm-hmm. And there are guys who get their bell rung that first year and. Don't know how to fucking deal with it. And, I mean, I do think that he's coming in with the chip on his shoulder ready to prove something. I do understand that. But let's just hypothetically say that he goes into this next game, week three, and he goes fucking ham. Then you goes can't off. go away. You can't go back from that. No. That they, was they my will. question. But Matt Nagy's a goddamn moron, and he'll <laughs> find a way to do it. <laughs> yeah. That guy is fucking the worst. Yeah. Both of those two. How do you have... Your top three paid players outside of Mac are Jimmy Graham, who doesn't see the field really, mm-hmm. uh, Robert Quinn, who is ass, and then Andy Dalton, and then if you want to go with number four, Nick Foles. Those are your, outside of Mac. Those are your top four paid players. 
Three of them aren't even really on the You field. have a rookie quarterback on a rookie deal, and your cap space is fucking ass yeah. because you signed all those guys to those contracts that are old vet. It's terrible. Mm-hmm. You should be able to surround that guy with good veteran linemen, uh, grab another receiver, and you can't fucking do it. You can't spend any money. It's awful. Are He's you, fucking piss poor management of the cap money. Are you going to end up expecting him to fire sale after they, if they do let him go? I right? fucking hope. Both of them are gone. Well, what not what I'm saying. I'm saying is, is if they they get canned, mm-hmm. do you think that you lose Mac? No. Okay, so no, he's Mac's in a contract. Okay. Mac Mac's not going anywhere. Mac would probably be happier. How pissed off are you if you're the defense if you're on the field the entire fucking time because your offense can't put up more than twenty points a game? Yeah, that's true. Okay, uh, did you guys have any other games of note? That Answer you were his wondering? fucking question. How pissed off are you, Scotty? Not so much. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I would be. Did you guys yeah. have any other games that you wanted to bring up that were any kind of a shock to you at all? Uh, not in the any, NFL, any, no. Anybody that looked uh, basically a complete turnaround from week one. Because week one, a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, it's fucking week one. Yeah. I thought Tennessee looked good. I thought Buffalo looked good. Uh, and they looked awful first week. The team that I'm actually really fucking worried about is Pittsburgh. I'm really fucking worried about Pittsburgh right now. Their defense is is looks stellar. Yeah. But their offense looks like shit. Well, Ben's a thousand. That's kind of what I was saying last year. I mean, Dwayne Haskins is terrible. Up. Yeah, I know, but <clears throat> right now I don't want to put Ben Roethlisberger out on the fucking field. Mm-hmm. I mean, the, the offensive line is shit, but their defense is better. Now, but then again, uh, who was it? Was it uh, TJ got hurt? TJ Watt? Yep. He got hurt, so he He's may be. the highest, play defen- or highest paid defensive player in the NFL, yeah. too. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking Hushman Zada. Yeah. So <laughs> they should get him to play quarterback for the Saints. Ooh, yeah. That's the team that I, I am very, very skeptical on right now. Very impressed with the Oakland Raiders, though. Very impressed with the Oakland Raiders. I wonder what Geno okay. Smith is up to now. He can probably play quarterback for I- think he's working as a vendor isn't he <laughs> <laughs> yeah hot dogs get your hot dogs here uh, yeah <laughs> throwing them to the wrong people <laughs> yeah <laughs> dude you fucking threw that on the ground <laughs> shut up get your hot dogs <laughs> i played for the jets <laughs> <laughs> all right well that's all the sports that i have for today now we get to move on to the fun part of the show. We get to can, start off. Can oh. I make a sports comment? Oh, sure. Go ahead. Uh, here these last couple of weeks, I've been watching K-State games on uh, ESPN Plus uh-huh. on that app. Sure. Boy, is that not the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> the broadcasting teams that they have for those games are fucking morons. And huh. it's very clear they don't do their research. Uh, before the game this week, they were talking about uh, K-State's quarterback, Skylar Thompson, is hurt again. Mm. Surprise, surprise. Uh and so they were talking about their backup and how, you know, he's got some experience. He started eight games last year for him, but uh, he seems to be a little bit undersized. 6'4", 235. <laughs> what a tiny motherfucker. <laughs> that's like the epitome of a quarterback. Yeah, that's, like that's, the size that's actually of the... like the, a prototype NFL quarterback for you. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to watch uh, a little bit of the Peyton Manning, Eli Manning, Pat McAfee feed of the game mm-hmm. last night. Yeah, that lasted two minutes. <laughs> oh, really? Ah, uh, it was fucking terrible. It seems like um, a lot of egos. They had all three of them like on the side of the TV. Yeah, like on a sidebar, and then they were all just—they weren't even paying attention to the fucking game when I was watching it. They were talking about some other bullshit, and I'm like, yeah, this is like fucking watching three guys live stream some like Madden. It's, it's fucking like terrible. Watching three guys do a shitty podcast in a basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. When everybody Good. knows the horse is the star uh, of the show. That's right. Or at least should be. Which should Peyton be getting Manning a lot more work. screen time. God. That's true. He was a Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> well, now he gets and a colt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. This guy's all about horses. <laughs> we should have him on our first episode of Horse Talk. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that Peyton Manning has the largest eyes out of any land mammal? <laughs> <laughs> I had heard that. Yeah. All That's right. why he was able to see the field so good. <laughs> Oddly <laughs> enough, not from Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, now we get to move on to the fun part of the uh, show here. Really? I was having all kinds of fun. Uh, we, not everybody was there, Jeremy. Mm. But uh, now we get to move on to the fun part of the show. Are you this talking is... about you? Because I don't give a shit. Shut up. 
Uh, we can start off with overrated or underrated. This is the fan favorite uh, that we do. We do take suggestions, guys. If you guys want to uh, send your suggestions, you can go to our TikTok channel while it's still up at Laughing on the Sidelines. If not, if that one gets taken down, go to Laughing on the Sidelines 2, and you can submit them in our Q&A. But uh, you don't have to. You don't have to, but if they're a good one, you can send it in there. And you know the difference. You should. Uh, but first one, we're going to go with uh, overrated or underrated. This is going to be a fan's question. This is going to be at Big 60 Red. Overrated <laughs> or underrated Jack Daniels flavored whiskey? Mm. Overrated. Yeah? Why ruin whiskey? I, I, that's... <laughs> Whiskey is good by itself. I don't need it to taste like cinnamon. I I hundred percent agree. Apple or no? No, it, it, don't ruin it. Yeah, that's kind of what what we were talking kind of shit on Fireball a couple of weeks ago when Biggs was here, is because it's not really whiskey, and now they're trying to make it like taste like all kinds of other shit. Just make it taste like good whiskey. Yeah. What are you doing? I think that's just masking shit whiskey. That's yeah. probably what they had was a bad batch. Like, throw some cinnamon in it. Yeah. It It'll probably, be all right. You're probably We're right. going to call this fire because if you drink it, you want to burn the blaze down. Right. <laughs> like, right. <laughs> it's good at starting fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can use it as a gasoline or a solvent because <laughs> the guy that made this batch is fucking fired. So <laughs> it'll give you... It, it, it's good for sterilizing wounds, and it'll give the wound minty fresh breath. <laughs> or cinnamon fresh breath, I guess. Not minty. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, you know, I'm not a big whiskey guy. Oh. However, I... Now, it wasn't Jack Daniels, but my dad had some blueberry whiskey one time that was actually not bad. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, no. I, I, I think they're, they're deceptive. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't remember if it was Jack Daniels or Jim Beam uh, came out with that honey whiskey. Ja- uh, Jack did. I think they all did. I think they okay. all did. One followed the other. They all do. I just know that there was some college girl somewhere who was expecting a lot more honey than whiskey, and I'm guessing got a real rude awakening. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was whiskey with a touch of honey. Right. That's why they needed a new pumpkin spice whiskey. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. my God. That's what they need. Mm-hmm. That would be the worst thing A little nutmeg, a little whipped cream. No. Yeah, and then it hides my pumpkin spice roofie real good. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's bad. Chunks of crust in it. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Next one. We're done, Scotty. Move on. Shush. Uh, Learn how to host. Next one is another fan question. Uh, This is at Sack Snap. Great name. He wants to know underrated, or sorry, overrated or underrated edible arrangements. What kind? Whatever you want. What do you think of? Chocolate. Well, fruit's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the only ones I've that ever goes, gotten. Go, it goes bad, and it's fucking good for you. They are literally saying, here, you throw this away. Yeah. <laughs> Chocolate? Yeah. Ultimate. That's the best. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, okay. How about, hold on. Chocolate strawberries? No. No. Okay. There's fruit in no, there. That's more fruit than chocolate, <laughs> so like, fuck it. Chocolate green bean? No. Uh, no. <laughs> Candy bars. That's what we're talking about. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. A candy bar bouquet. My wife got me one of those, which is why we're still married. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that's why. <laughs> Not because she hasn't chosen to leave your ass. No, it's because of that. Yeah. I mean, and you, I can take her in a fight. You, you fought with her over that Tim Maggard photo. <laughs> Guess what's hanging up in the basement? Uh, that Tim Maggard photo. Gonna be Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it stays here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's She'll hosting. entertain the kids. She's hosting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go. next week. I can't wait. I'm going to go overrated. I, I just think it's food. Why don't you just buy the food, put it in front of me? You don't have to make it all look pretty. That's just me. Jeremy? Well, that's a really negative attitude. Uh, I'm so. sorry. I just, I, like, I, why? I, why spend the extra money for somebody to cut it up and make it look like a bunch of flowers? I don't care if it's chocolate or fruit. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, I'm. Yeah, if you make a Reese's peanut butter cup look like a dick, I'm still fucking mm-hmm. probably going to eat it. <laughs> Sure. It's Reese's. It's Reese's. Reese's man. dicks. Fuck it. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Uh, for me, yeah, I'm the one overrated too. Uh, I, I have never got one where I liked everything on there. Despite, you would think I would just eat whatever, you know, if you were to look at me. But I actually have a, I, there's only like six things that I like. And uh, chocolate is one of them. But even chocolates can be deceptive because sometimes they'll hide shit in them. Yeah. Yeah. Like literal shit. 
inside of something and cover it with chocolate and tell you it's a chocolate. <laughs> no, it's not. It's shit with chocolate on the outside. Yeah, that's the worst. Mm -hmm. uh, like when you get those boxes of mixed chocolates uh -huh. and you're like, all right, well, there's two flavors in here that I like and the other yeah. 10 are shit. <laughs> so it's like Russian roulette and the odds are against me. This one's got a creamy nougat. This one's got caramel. This one has thumbtacks. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This one may have coconut. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's a hate crime. <laughs> that and sweet tea. <laughs> Mine's cherries. I hate chocolate with cherry in the middle oh, of it. Really? Oh, God. Oh, I like chocolate covered cherries. Oh, oh no, I'm out. That's like, mmm, yummy. Cough syrup and dark chocolate. My <laughs> fucking favorite. Which is weird because have you ever eaten like real cherries? Yeah, no. they don't taste anything like the candy. I don't throw them away. No. At all. No. No, I, I just, as soon as I get a cherry, I either give it to my wife or throw it out the window. Mm. Do you and that it? doesn't matter where I'm at. I could be in a restaurant. I'll break the window and then throw the cherry out of it. Now, if it stains, how do you clean that off? What's that? Oh, I don't the know. Cherries. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to clean my goddamn strawberry stains huh? off the window. So. Okay, so it's probably. You, gotta go the, you probably got to go to the acid store, Jeremy. I think that's what you got to <laughs> do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just dip it in the, in the suds. Yeah. Yeah. Next, never one. thought of that. Goddamn. Okay. Next one, we got another fan question. This is the Nerd Port. Uh, wants to know overrated or underrated uh, the Soapbox Derby, sometimes sponsored by Red Bull. Overrated? Not a sponsor. What? Going down a fucking hill and you're spending all that time building cardboard or it, around a skateboard. It's fucking stupid. That's fucking awesome. Uh, uh, here's, you know what would be awesome? If you did it down that fucking giant hill in San Francisco. I'm in with that. I'm down with that. I'm totally in with that. Or if you watch that Netflix series where that chick, the cheese roll, did you see that shit? Where uh -huh. that, oh, my God, they go down this giant hill after oh, a wheel of yes, cheese. yes. And the bitch is breaking collarbones and shit. Yep. That's fine. <laughs> but you're, A, fully protected. Not really. Yeah. No. And you're around, you're encased in this enclosure. It's so stupid. Uh, you know what it all boils down to? I mean, yeah, they try and disguise it as they, these homemade cars and shit. It's auto racing. That's plain and simple. It's cars racing against cars. And that's, we've all agreed, that's fucking stupid. Now, if they were to do it in San Francisco, here's what I would like to see. Them going down that hill, you get a one-second head start on the fucking trolley. <laughs> that's coming behind you. And you're really not even racing each other. You're racing the trolley. I like that. <laughs> okay. Or uh, and the trolley doesn't stop at the bottom of the hill. It keeps going up the hill. Good luck. <laughs> or there's a railroad crossing at the end. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And they hit the time. If you miss the... If you don't get don't get across quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. Boom. Yeah, okay. All right. I'm in. Uh, I was just going to say, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of people who get hurt in it, and so that makes it more entertaining. Look, I love watching people get hurt all the time. Yeah. Fucking mm -hmm. about your kids. Um, but, <laughs> you're fucking about your kids. <laughs> but, you know, just get hurt. Yeah. Leave the fucking cars out of it. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, next one. Uh, overrated or underrated barbershop quartets. What the fuck? <laughs> What? Yeah. What year do you think this is? <laughs> Come on, man. They have, they sing the national anthem all the time at sporting events. They they do. I'm sure they do. Yeah. I've, you know where the, the – I've actually seen a few barbershop quartets. I've never seen one in a barbershop, oddly yeah. enough. Wouldn't that be great <clears throat> to send barbershop quartets to your boss to quit? I think that would be great. Or just a strongly worded ambient fueled letter. <laughs> <laughs> With a piping hot turnover. Mm -hmm. uh, I think all barbershop quartet members should have to be on ambient when they do it. <laughs> Harmonize now, sick. motherfuckers. <laughs> I think they're underrated. I think they, they could be used as, uh, as I don't know, a weird way of, of terrorism. I Are think. you talking like a singing telegram type yes, thing? Yes, Because they do more than that. I know they do, but I don't care. I want to do it as a telegram thing and deliver bad no like bad news to people. Like, your mom died of cancer kind of thing. Yeah. I think that would be okay. It'd be fine. It, it might soften the blow, yeah, sure. Yeah, exactly. See? I'm trying to be positive here. Jeez. Underrated. Derek? There is no quicker way to not get puss <laughs> than telling some chick you're at a barbershop quartet. Didn't say I was going to be a part of it. 
No, I'm just saying in general. Okay. So if just for that reason alone, they shouldn't exist. I don't. Nah. I don't, I don't know. I bet you there's barbershop quartet groupies. You think so? Oh, yeah. There's got to be. They're a little bit older. What are they, 75? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Saber-tooth tigers, baby. Yeah. Hey, my wife's turning 50. <laughs> if I hadn't gone through <clears throat> menopause, I'd be moist right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, fucking overrated. That's awful. I like a man who uses Dapper Dan and sings baritone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, fine. Take away all the fun. All right, last one. Take it all away. He put barbershop quartets. <laughs> I thought that was you, funny. You, you are a fucking fun sponge. <laughs> I you, thought it was great. you know what you are? You're that fucking dust that they throw down when a kid pukes in a classroom. <laughs> That's what you are for fun. <laughs> it's kitty litter. No, they have a special chemical now it's a dust. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Fine. Well, whatever. You don't uh, even know how to clean up puke right. No, I don't. Uh, but anyways, uh, last one. Well, usually he pays people to do that on him. Mm-hmm. That's gr- Oh, no. No shit, it's gross. Why do you do that, Scotty? Yeah. Uh, ser- I wouldn't do that if I was you. I'll throw up on all you of You give her a bunch of Fruit Loops. You're like, make me look like a Cosby mm-hmm. sweater. And then <laughs> fucking here we go. I'll throw up on both of you. Keep on doing this shit. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> uh, no. 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 <laughs> don't. I... I like my I soup. I seriously <laughs> will. I will fucking throw up on <laughs> both of you. Uh, I, like, <laughs> I like my soup secondhand. No yeah. shit. I was EMT certified, and there was two things I can't deal with, and that's, that's puke and shit. I just, I uh, don't. Uh. Were you working in a nursing home as no. an EMT? Ambulance. Because <laughs> that's no. usually blood. And that uh, was just a guy no, driving. No, no, fuck no. It's more. It's puking most shit of the time. It, it's mostly Do Jerry. Do people call EMTs because they shit themselves? No, they shit, <laughs> they shit themselves. That's for, a whole different bracelet. They shit themselves <laughs> in the ambulance, but puke, definitely. They definitely do that. It's no fun. <laughs> I've shat and I can't get cleaned up. <laughs> that's for, the, that's for the, the big people. Okay, last one. Overrated or underrated? Going commando. Speaking of big people. <laughs> Depends. Mm. <laughs> no, it's old it, people underwear. No, it depends oh. on going commando. Okay. Dick on denim, not too comfortable. <laughs> when, <laughs> but I waited tables for a lot of years and had to wear an apron. <laughs> and if I had a customer that irritated the shit out of me, I'd fucking just whip it right out <laughs> behind my apron. <laughs> just kind of my way of a little fuck you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, for that aspect, I'll go underrated. But dick on denim... Overrated. <laughs> that is not comfy, especially if it rough, you touch the inside of your zipper. Oh, uh. that's some something about Mary shit. Mm-mm. Um, I'm definitely going overrated here. Uh, I I have to wear underwear. I have to wear underwear in the swim in like swim trunks. Wait a minute, for us or for chicks? Overrated or underrated? We didn't specify there either. Oh, for us. Okay, all right. I almost changed my answer. No, I've got to wear underwear under my like. Yeah, women Wait, don't go shorts. commando because they uh, they don't let them into combat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm definitely going overrated for me. I I think it's really uncomfortable. Definitely on denim too. Oh, that that would just be all kinds of bad. I'm not even worried about necessarily the dick part. I'm more about worrying about your your ass and your legs and chafing and shit. I think that'd be awful. But go ahead, Jeremy. Um, I think that it's underrated. What? My wife, on the other hand. <laughs> Who does the laundry, you know, Asian, (laughs) thinks that it is highly, highly overrated. (laughs) Okay. She likes a barrier. I tried to tell her that I'm a man, as I pointed out earlier, does not sweat below the waist. But uh, she disagrees. No. Okay. We got one more, don't we? No. I mean, if you want to do one more, we can. Yeah. Okay. I can do one more. Uh, Fine. Overrated or underrated? Putt, putt. Hmm. I enjoy putt. Do not care for putt. <laughs> <laughs> it's the back nine that always gets me. Yeah. yeah. I, can, I can do a nine-hole course, but 18, I just get worn out. <laughs> Unless I have a caddy. Bad. Oh, jeez. How about you, Derek? Uh, underrated. Really? Yes. You ever bring a driver? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's nothing that freaks out a bunch of a family of five that yelling four. <laughs> Tee it up. Yeah, I did that. We there was an indoor putt putt course that we used to have here in Wichita years ago, and boy oh boy could I knock the shit out of that ball. 
I had to come up one one time. I had to come up seven times for a new ball because I don't know where it went. Jeez, I like going to the putting range. Yeah, yeah, that good old putting range. Uh-huh. Well, I keep a cover stuff. on my putter. And- I think it'd be great to go to play miniature golf just with a with a whole bag with mm-hmm. just your putter in it. Oh yeah, and then just show up and have a guy carry it for you the whole time. I know somebody has done that on a TV show. Shut the fuck up. Really? Okay. You yeah. know somebody that's done it? Uh, I'm I'm trying to think who it was. Maybe like Dan Patrick or somebody. Oh, on it. a TV show. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do you think? What do you think here? Uh, I think the putter. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Every hole. Yeah. Get your caddy. <laughs> Every hole. What do you think on this one? Uh, I think putter. All right. Cool. You got about four yards to the hole. <laughs> Let's go putter. <laughs> Watch me chip it onto the <laughs> watch me chip it onto hole six. Pick up some grass. <laughs> Try and get a read on the wind. <laughs> get out your fucking distance. <laughs> yeah. Range finder? Uh-huh. Yeah, oh yeah. That'd be great. What do you think the slope is on this one? <laughs> Flat, uh, Flat with a hill right before the clown. <laughs> yeah. Slightly to the left. No, it only feels like that way because you don't have a shoe on. Uh okay. <laughs> That was the sound of the clown in that same movie. Loud noise. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now we can move, move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, we uh, do have a couple of fan suggestions in this one uh, this week. Uh, but we're going to start with the first one. The By the f- way, that was a fake laugh. I don't know if you guys could tell. Yeah, we all know. Okay. Okay. I'm a very good actor. Uh-huh. Triss. Actress, Jeremy. Um, first- <laughs> God, you got me again. <laughs> Damn you, Magoo. <laughs> All right. Uh, first question uh, for this week. Uh, diet books that didn't exactly fly off of the shelves. There. Hmm. Come back to me. Okay. All right. Uh, I actually got one. Okay. Um, it is uh, called Lose the LBs by Ralphie May. Mm, that's mm. fucked up. He's dead. I know, because he was fat. I bet he's skinnier now. <laughs> he, he sure he, is. He actually lost a lot of weight on The Biggest Loser. Did he? Mm-hmm. Didn't do very well for him. Still killed him. How about you there, uh, Jeremy? Uh, the Wonderful Flavors of Cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, Derek? Uh, Dahmer's Diet Tips. Oh, God. <laughs> a, guide, a Guide to Fricassee. Oh God, that's uh, that's disgusting. That Ooh. guy was a hell of a cook. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> he had some other qualities that weren't necessarily desirable. Man, could he cook? Oh, no. You ever had his tongue sandwiches? No, oh, gross. <laughs> that's awful. Is it? Yeah. Not if you had his. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Yeah, but you haven't tried my tongue sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. Uh, next question. This is a fan's question. Uh, at that underscore Bo underscore Sam if you were super rich what is one ridiculous thing you would buy <laughs> the New York Jets <laughs> really yeah okay it's I'm... just a waste of money just to prove to him that it's not that hard yeah yeah true so uh you they tell you that if you ever buy a boat it's just a big hole in the water you throw money into I'm gonna buy a yacht I'm going to buy a big-ass boat. And okay. the good thing is, you will never see my ass ever again. Ever. we got to start a GoFundMe. Yep. Yeah. Give me that boat. Mm-hmm. I mean, once we get that portrait paid for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That portrait. Well, and we already got a new host. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, you're right. <clears throat> horse talk. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? Uh, probably oh. horse mask. A horse, um, a horse mask, huh? I'd buy a whole backpack full of horse masks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, fine. I'm in. And some Cheerios. Cheerios? Mm-hmm. This is something ridiculous you'd buy with all of that Regular money. Cheerios or chocolate Cheerios? Regular. <laughs> chocolate Cheerios, man. Come on. That's not what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this on last episode. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I, I can't remember how to pronounce it. <laughs> well, The O is the Cheerio. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. that's right. But no, I'd buy regular ones because that's something I would never buy normally. <sighs> okay. All right. They're healthy. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, next one. This uh-huh. is another fan question. Uh, at Trey Paul Ding, 
thirteen twenty three. That guy sounds Asian. No, I think it's Paulding. Actually. Oh, Paulding. Then he doesn't. Yeah, Paul it, Ding. That sounds. <laughs> uh, but I don't know. It's Zebra Vet. <laughs> <laughs> Z brave it, Z brave it. Yeah, you know, Z brave it. He was just being brave. Uh, no, at, at Trey Paul Ding, uh, thirteen twenty three. Instead of nine one one, what's your emergency? Operators should say blank. What's inside you this time? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, in all reality, um, I I know too many people that take fucking stupid ass phone calls, and it's just gonna be like. What the fuck do you want now? So many stupid calls. That's why they would answer the phone. Uh, Jeremy, this better be good. <laughs> I like that one. That one's good. Like it. All right. Uh, next question. Uh, rejected slogans for milk. Okay. Yeah. You got anything? Yeah. Okay. Let me say it. Go for it. Okay. Milk. Now from men. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like it. Uh, I've got nothing. I'll go ahead and go, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> Milk. Tastes like the inside of a cow's nipple. <laughs> I was kind of thinking about something along those lines, but I couldn't think of, of that. Utterly ridiculous. <laughs> oh. Or, got Milk? Then fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the milk stash? No, I don't, Scotty. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I, I know you wanted to go somewhere with that, but I just wanted to shut it down <laughs> McFuckstick style. I In think... Germany, they had like little milk Hitler stashes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they drank wow. out of really little cups. <laughs> oh. The milk just chaplain. Out of sh- <laughs> the milk chaplain. With shot glasses with <laughs> milk in them. Um, but yeah, I, I, I didn't, I was going to try to do something, but no, Jeremy shut me down. Yeah, I did. Okay. Thanks, man. Uh, you're still talking. I know. I'm trying to move on to the next question, asshole. Vicky uh, is right there, ready to replace you. Mm-hmm. I know. Uh, last question. She oddly enough has a deeper voice than you. More masculine. <clears throat> thanks. Uh-huh. Thanks. Uh, last question. Name something your partner does that's not a big deal, but it drives you fucking crazy. Snores. Oh really? Oh yeah. I mean, it's it's bad. Like yeah. I can't, and it's not. Sometimes it's not even loud. But I'm just like de- debating: is is this the day I do it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is this the first time I shoot my gun? <laughs> oh, 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 you're oh my wife. god! You know yeah. what'll quiet that down is just a pillow. Yeah. <laughs> it's right over that. And then I go downstairs to sleep in the other bed, and she's like, "Really? What? What? <laughs> Why are you down here?" Because you were snoring out of your mouth and your ass. I, <laughs> I have, have you ever had stinky snores? Because that's what those were. Because <laughs> here's the thing: is I have the same situation. If you wake her up and tell her, "Hey, you're snoring," you're an asshole. You're an asshole. <laughs> yep. If you get a, your only option is to just be miserable. That's the only way mm-hmm. she's not going to be pissed off when you wake up. I have been in that situation many a time. Now I have the sleep number bed. Oh with, yeah, with the the Adjust, head that raised, and it actually has a fucking snore setting, partner snore, so you can push it and it just raises the head, her head up all just the way, enough, all the way, to all the way cock. to where she folds in half, <laughs> and then you suffocate the shit out of her. <laughs> she still snores. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I I actually do have uh, have one for this. Um, Whenever I'm watching a television show or a sporting event or something, I'm really trying to pay attention to. And she takes the stinkiest poop, and then you can't focus. <laughs> no. No, my wife, um, for some crazy reason, really thinks that she that I want to have a full-blown conversation about something serious. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't understand why. And I'm normally pretty good about tuning her out for the most part, but um, that drives me fucking insane. Yeah, like whenever she's like, honey... We need a divorce. We, we lost the baby. Um, the game, honey. The like, fucking game. The Can we not have the fucking game? That baby's going to be dead in three more innings anyway. Let's just, could you wait? <laughs> no, not that bad, but whatever. And here's the thing, too, that I, because I have the same problem, is that uh, if you, like, hit pause on the TV. It makes them mad. Yes. What the fuck? 
Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I fucking did the thing to give you my full fucking attention, <laughs> which is obviously what you wanted. Hundred percent right. So basically, if you're not miserable, you're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Jeremy? Well, uh, she says no to anal a lot, <laughs> which I do not care for. But also, okay. Especially my, when you're just sitting there on all fours like, eh? Uh-huh. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm not going to go get the strap on. <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Put it right in her face like a cat. Just back up to her. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem that I'm not close enough? Huh? 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 Start pop lock and dropping it. Just right there in her face. Oh shit. No. Start moving my ass cheeks in and out yeah. and making them clap. Just please put it in there. To work out. Twerking. twerking and making that ass clap. <laughs> oh. You know you want it. Jesus. That fucking hurts. No, uh, okay. My wife is a helper. Yeah. She loves to help people <clears throat> to the point where it is fucking obnoxious. To where, like, I'll go in the kitchen to look for something to snack on or whatever. And she's got to sit there and list off all the shit that we have in the house. <laughs> and it's like, what about this makes you think I need help? How little do you think of me? Do, does it look like I need help snacking? <laughs> look at me. I, I'm a fucking sandwich king here. Yeah. Okay? I guess I wish you'd put the fucking milk away, but still. Huh. I've told you that story. Oh, That's yeah. so great. But on a positive note, they always know where all of her shit is, and so they're, she may just be trying to help you find it. <laughs> yes, she's trying to be helpful, and it pisses me off because <laughs> this is one area I don't need help. And it's like, no matter how many times, it's like, yeah, I'll find something. I'll find, I'll find something, honey. Don't worry about it. Yeah. And it's like, you were doing something before I came in here. Go back to it. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to Kansas City, and uh, we had to like go grab my buddy's luggage and then shoot straight towards uh, the airport. Mm-hmm. And my wife's like, did you already pack? I said, yeah. Did you get everything? Yes. Toothbrush? Yes. Toothpaste? Yes. Afrin for the cat allergies? I don't think I'm going to need that. I got everything. Deodorant? I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, that's the thing. <laughs> like, Son of a bitch. She got me. Your wife travels a lot, so yeah. she's a pro at it. Well, the funny thing was is we used to have, like, I used, I used a toothpaste, and she used a different kind of toothpaste. I didn't know that we bought – she just decided we were just going to go down to the toothpaste that I used. So I took the whole fucking tube of toothpaste oh, that I went. Nice. She's like, thanks for taking the toothpaste, asshole. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Don't you have your own? No, I had to go in my travel bag. Why didn't, get, why didn't you get your travel bag? Because my travel bag sucks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my – that never is a problem in my house because my wife is a coupon queen. Mm-hmm. And so we basically have the Colgate storage warehouse <laughs> in our fucking bathroom cupboard. Ah, oh, man. Does, does she go crazy couponing? Like, like should be on the television show? Oh, no, not to that level. Okay. okay. But – Here's the thing. She'll get a coupon for something and buy something she normally wouldn't have bought and then tries to convince me she saved money. (laughs) (laughs) Don't you love it how they do that shit? Yeah. We do it too, though. Coupons are a wonderful thing if you use them right. I hate them. I hate doing them. No, 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 no. No, not the coupon. That is their way of doing the same thing that we do to them, which is like, look, honey, I bought a new table saw. Now I can mm. build all of our fucking furniture and yeah. save us all kinds of money. Right? Right. Okay. That's my point. Okay. That is our questions and preguntas uh, segment for this week. Boy, such a bitch. <laughs> now we get to move on to our draft. I got my ass kicked last week. Yeah. Sure did. Whoop, whoop. Sure did. Uh, Derek Deservedly was... Deservedly uh, yeah. so. Derek was the champ uh for the draft last week uh jeremy was uh you know silver medalist mm-hmm. i still got the bronze though i'm still kidding uh, that was what i forgot i bought my I bought my own belt for that draft Damn. Mm-hmm. and oh. that was supposed to go in my backpack and i forgot it. that's okay that's maybe okay. they'll sponsor us mm, yeah. maybe they they have already offered but anyway no yeah. i went from a different 
Oh, company. yeah. I went from way better win. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's so mean. Went from Jostens. <laughs> that's <laughs> Diamond and Crested. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Platinum. Uh-huh. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm going to have that thing paid off in like 65 years. It's going to be fucking awesome. For sure. Okay. Jeremy, I'm going to leave it to you in my will. And he's going to buy one every week yeah. that he wins the draft. Uh-huh. Every time. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Well, now we get to move on to uh, this week's Way draft. to have fun with it, Scotty. Nope. Not going not gonna to do it. Uh, now we're going to move on to uh, this week's draft. Uh, I like this one. I'm kind of pumped for this one. Uh, this is going to be our uh, Saturday Night Live Best Characters uh, draft. Okay. And uh, I get first pick this week. Jeremy, you get the sandwich ones, and then uh, Derek, you get the uh, Do I, All my characters pick. have to be sandwiches? Yes. Okay. Yes. You can maybe do it with uh, Saturday Night Live. It'd be a little tougher. but Before our draft, I just want to let you guys know that the horse trailer was invented by Lord George Bentnick, a UK man who needed a more effective way of transport for getting his six horses from one racetrack to the other. Oddly enough, until he died, he actually had the largest eye of any mammal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I got the first pick, kids. Yeah, we're Did you know you. that a horse's teeth actually take up a larger amount of space in their head than their brain? I did yeah, not. I thought everybody knew that. I did not know mm-hmm. that. No, that's, that's mm-hmm. craziness. At one time, people thought that horses were colorblind. They're not. They're actually better at <laughs> They're actually better at seeing yellows and greens than purples and violets. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Every time he goes to pick, if you do that, you might make me throw up. <laughs> oh, shit. You want to keep going? <laughs> No. I only have 42 more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting here trying to hold it because I know exactly what he's doing. And I just want to let it happen. <laughs> oh, Jesus. With, with the first pick. Can I, can I take it now? Uh, yeah, you want to go ahead. ahead? Okay. I think it's... <clears throat> I think it's a lot of people's most famous character uh, from Saturday Night Live history, and that is uh, good old Matt Foley in a van down by a river. Mm. Yeah. That is uh, my number one pick. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jeremy. Never really watched the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no? No. Okay. Um, you know what? It's actually a more recent character. Really? Okay. But I, I, I really like him. Stefan. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. I always forget that guy's name that plays him. Bill Hader. Hader. <clears throat> Good deal. Okay. Derek, you get two back-to-back, dude. Did you guys know <laughs> <laughs> that horses can sleep lying down and standing up? I did know that. I did, yeah. Yeah. I did know that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Please, don't waste my time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it is it recurring characters. Uh, it doesn't it, have to be. Just it can be just uh, just characters, man. Good, mm-hmm. because I guess it would be characters or skits or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna go with Wayne Campbell. Okay. Mm. I don't even. Hold, oh yeah, Wayne's okay. World. Wayne's World. Okay. <clears throat> All right. And uh, Turd Ferguson. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> funny hat. Hmm? Yeah, it's fun, funny name. Funny name. <laughs> you got to take that one in your first round. I, did I, did I you ever see, well, it was the second round, but uh, yeah. did you ever see the one where they were having the 25th anniversary of Star Wars and they were doing the, the auditions and they had... Uh, had him playing uh, auditioning for Darth Vader as Burt Reynolds. Uh-uh. Norm McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> like, eh. Hey, uh, what kind of car is this guy drive? <laughs> 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 they had the one for Pulp Fiction <laughs> where right. he was trying out as the for the part of uh, – because Samuel L. Jackson was hosting. Right. And they had him trying out for John Travolta's part, and they were doing that whole dialogue about the burgers. 
Oh, they're yeah. Like, they call it a Royale of cheese. <clears throat> well, what do they call a Big Mac? Uh, they just call it a, a Big Mac. But, hey, Quentin, is this whole movie about burgers? <laughs> just <laughs> stops in the middle. This whole movie about burgers? <laughs> Loved it. Uh, Gumby. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, really? I went down a long rabbit hole of Norm MacDonald, and there was one bit that, and I think I shared it. It's and John Stewart's trying not to laugh. He's at the Daily Show. Mm-hmm. Oh, and he goes, you, "My friend called me the other day. He says you're not going to believe who died." I said, "Who's that?" He said, "The Crocodile Hunter." Really? <laughs> That's who I'm going to believe <laughs> not died. <laughs> That is like, uh, well, no, he was only 44 years old. And I was like, that's a ripe old age for a crocodile hunter. <laughs> he goes, man, you know who's got to be pissed about that? The crocodile. <laughs> he got taken out by some fish. He's like, God, you know, he's like, they, they, they tell all the crocodiles that the crocodile hunter died. And they're like, who got him? Was it Frank? No, nah, man, you don't even want to know. <laughs> no, nah, well, who was it? <laughs> he goes, Hey, hey, Bill, you remember that one time when you almost had him? Oh, yeah, man. I ever, I had that fucking, I could have got him in his fucking kid. He was taunting me with that stick. He goes, God, I ever tell you that story? Yeah, about fucking 40 times, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> that just son of a bitch. John Stewart is like doubled over. Please don't make me laugh at this. <laughs> All right. He was maybe the best guest on Late Night. Oh, the seven-minute uh, moth uh, thing with Coden? He did all kinds of shit with Conan. He said that he was supposed to do, like, a, was just the when the break was done, he was done. Uh-huh. And I'm like, we're going to come back to Conan after the break, or, or back to Norm after the break. And Norm's like, what do you mean? I don't have anything else. So I was done. <laughs> yeah. He goes, I'll just talk. He goes, okay, well, how long? He goes, about seven minutes. So he heard this, like, 30-second street joke, and he turned it into a seven-minute <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Yeah, we're just talking yeah. about how genius fucking Norm MacDonald yeah, was. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you, you, you lead off your... the show with it, and then we talk about it. You're like, are you fucking done? Yeah, yeah get back to your <laughs> exciting pick. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to go... You're like uh, a wet fucking blanket. <clears throat> Jesus. Shut up. Uh, I, I love watching recurring videos of this character. It was one of my favorites, uh, Church Lady. Really? You, you're I, the, you're the one who liked that. I did like Church Lady. How do you not like Church Lady? Dana Carvey, man. <sighs> mm-hmm. And then my uh, second pick, um, I'm gonna go with uh, Sean Connery in uh, in SNL. Sean Connery, uh, celebrity, the celebrity, celebrity Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Yep. Jeremy, who's your second pick again? Gumby. Gumby. Yeah. Okay. You get another one there, Jeremy. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Will Ferrell's Harry Carey. Okay. Oh, that's a good one. That is a really good one. My favorite planet's the sun. <laughs> All right. Would you eat the moon if it were made of spare ribs? <laughs> Just answer the damn question. <laughs> uh, how about you uh, there, Derek? You get two in a row. Well, I got one, but it's kind of a group. How can you? You can't. Yeah, have a well, group. it kind of is a group. It's the super fans. Da yeah, bears. Uh, yeah. Okay. The super fans. Okay. Was it Bill Swirsky? Bob, Bob Swirsky. I think it was Bill. Bill, Bill did the first one, and then it was always his his brother Bob. That's a uh, how many heart attacks is that for you? That makes about a baker's dozen for me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm probably gonna get it crucified for this. I don't know if you'll let me pick it, but Alec Baldwin is Trump. Sure. Was hilarious. That's fun. I don't mind. It's okay. It's fun. got old. Yeah. But goddamn, some of the shit he said was fucking fantastic. All uh, right, go ahead, uh, Jeremy. I can't think of any others. Um, I've got two. I hope God damn. Come back to me. Let me try and think here. I want to go classic. Because mm-hmm. you need a good classic one. Um, let's go. With uh, the Samurai Chef. Samurai Chef? Okay. Mm-hmm. That's where I was going to go. Really? Mm-hmm. Because I know who I want for my last one. He's obscure. Okay. Well, I need to make sure I don't want to fuck this up, but uh, I'm gonna, I was going to go with Will Ferrell as 
the host of uh, Jeopardy, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to go with... Worst impression of all time, by the way. Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> it was supposed to be doesn't one. doesn't sound anything like him. Uh, so I'm going to go a different route and go with the uh, Spartan Spirit Cheerleaders. Mm, okay. I like that one. Will Ferrell and Molly... Sh- no, Sherry O'Terry. Sherry mm-hmm. O'Terry. And then uh, <clears throat> mine is... Uh, my last one is Obscure, uh, but it's... Probably one of my favorite skits. It just cracks me up every single time. Patrick Swayze, Chris Farley, the Chippendale Auditions Dancers. That's a skit. Which character? I'll take Chris Farley. Okay. Barney. Yep. I like it. I like my team. Jeremy, last pick. Uh, As a Dana Carvey character called Massive Head Wound Harry. I don't even remember that. Oh, it was such a great sketch. It was this guy who would show up at parties, and it was Dana Carvey, but they just basically glued this piece of fucking meat to his head. <laughs> and everybody was, like, all grossed out by it, but they're like, just don't don't look at it. Don't don't say anything about it. And he'd be like, oh, I'm feeling lightheaded. I'm just going to lay down on the couch here <laughs> and put his head on their white couch. And in the sketch, there was a fucking golden retriever. And it started gnawing <laughs> at the there. fucking meat on his head. And he's like, oh, he must smell my dog. <laughs> this dog is just fucking ripping at this fucking wound on his head. It was so fucking great. <laughs> All right. And then uh, Derek, finish her up. Well, I don't know if this will count or not. <clears throat> it was a character, but it wasn't. He never saw it. Okay. Ja- Jack Handy? Sure. Deep uh, Thoughts by Jack Handy? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm good with that. That was those were so fucking great. Oh fuck, I missed a good one. Yeah, what was your uh, honorable mentions, or which ones did you miss? Gene from the Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah, I was going that way, the other way. That was going. That was my other one. Uh, it was the cowbell guy. Yeah. Uh, let's see, Molly Shannon and, and the Delicious Dish Girls mm, with yeah. the sweaty balls. Robert Goulet. Will Ferrell is Robert Goulet. Uh, oh yeah. When he'd sing Snoop Dogg songs. <laughs> caveman Lawyer. Mm. Oh, yeah. Unfrozen Caveman Lawyer. Roxbury Guys. I, they were kind of dumb, though, after the movie. I'm not going to lie. They, they were kind of dumb before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but man, Mr. Peepers. Chris Kattan. I can't believe I can't think Mr. of Bill. Uh, let's Fred see. Garvin, male prostitute. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fred Garvin, male prostitute. <sighs> Dan oh. Aykroyd in that fucking checkered suit with the hat and the stupid mustache. The bye bye David Spade. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah David bye Spade. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Total bastard airlines. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that is our draft this week. Uh, we did the... Uh, the Richmeister. Best Saturday Night mm. Live characters. You can check the uh, the draft up on Facebook.com slash Laughing on the Sidelines podcast and vote for your favorite list of Saturday Night Live characters. Whoever wins gets championship picks next week, but no other prizes. No belts for this one. Uh, but now we get to move Unless on. Unless we buy our own. Unless you buy your own. Mm-hmm. Now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single <clears throat> episode. This is what we like to call our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, In the late 70s to mid 80s, there were constant struggles between the Philadelphia Police Department and the black commune group known as MOVE, all capital letters, M-O-V-E. Didn't stand for anything, just what they called themselves. They were a, uh, what some people would call a cult. Um, In fact, the former members describe it as now describe it as a cult, but they considered themselves purveyors of natural living and anarcho primitivism. <clears throat> oh, which is a fun word to say. Basically, they uh, they had natural living. They they grew their own foods, uh, raised their own meat, uh, which is not always good in uh, the middle of you know Philadelphia. Uh, oh. Trying to raise livestock. As you can imagine, there were a lot of complaints from people about the smells, and this created a lot of hostility between the uh, Pen- uh, P- Philadelphia Police Department and the members of this cult, or whatever the fuck, group. 
depending on who you want to ask. Um, on uh, May 13th of 1985, police went to serve four arrest warrants, which uh, did not result in arrest, but instead resulted in a standoff. Uh, basically, it was a shootout where the police fired over 10,000 rounds into the home. Oddly enough, didn't get anybody, but the people still refused to come out. So they decided to bring the standoff to an end. Uh, Police Lieutenant Frank Powell flew a Pennsylvania State Police helicopter over the compound and dropped a satchel with two pounds of C4 in it. Holy fuck. Which uh, basically blew the fuck out of (laughs) their compound and also did a great deal of damage to surrounding properties. Um, As a result, uh, so basically... The Philadelphia Police Department bombed their own city. Uh, As a result, uh, 11 people were dead, including five children. Um, But it did burn up all the animal shit. So there was some good news from that. So uh, now your kid can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, they dropped the bomb on me. (laughs) C4 not included. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we do have our shitty situation of the week. This week it is, would you rather be in a barbershop quartet or be the caddy to the most serious putt-putt golfer in the world? Hmm. I'm going to have to go ahead and be the caddy. Okay. No, I'm going to do the barbershop quartet. I think I'm really? going to do. Yeah, because miniature golf season, that's like 11 and a half months out of the year for the, for the circuit. Oh, and man. I well, if you count indoor. No, I, they take two weeks off for Christmas. Oh, okay. So it's 11 and a half months indoor, or indoor, outdoor, all the elements, you know, and I don't want to be there doing surveys mm-hmm. two days beforehand. Okay. So, and they don't even give you a cart. So, yeah. So I'm going to go with the barbershop quartet. And I guess I'll just live life without puss. <laughs> okay. Uh, not me. I'm a comic. It's hard enough to get people to go to my comedy show. I can't mm-hmm, imagine sure. to get people, hey, you guys want to come sing, watch me sing doo-wop with four other dudes? Oh, yeah. that's not doo-wop. That's way before doo-wop. Well, man. whatever the hell it is. Yeah. Barbershop quartet. Yeah, man. Okay. I'll uh, wear straw hats and mm-hmm. be an asshole. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely being the caddy. I'm de- the caddy? I'm being the caddy. If anybody knows some golf, it's not me. But I could damn look good do it, trying. I could figure it out. Angle of the fake green. You damn right I could do it. Mm-hmm. And I'd be okay with it, especially oh. if they're paying me. Hit that ball off that piece of rotten wood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's going to dink, and it's just, just at the right angle, and mm-hmm. you're going to get a hole in one every time. Absolutely. I'd be that guy. I just want to see a... Time and windmills and... How, re- mouths. how ridiculous would it be if you went to a putt putt course and there's a guy that's seriously like kind of you know lining up his putt like this, just kind of. That like sounds how- like something you'd do. Mm-hmm. Oh fuck no! You bought your own belt. I don't. I, don't, I, don't I would do like to putt-putt. see the bag you've got to carry. <laughs> <for that guy. laughs> this is this is no bullshit. It's you- just filled with like blue, orange, and pink and green golf mm-hmm. balls. So on Pawn Stars, they actually had a guy that had a collection of different putt putt balls. It's a legitimate deal, mm-hmm. and they all have different textures and different like, like bounciness to them. It's fucking weird, and they 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 are on a putt putt circuit or some shit. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. You're gonna caddy for it. Damn right I am. Okay, travel the world. Uh, not me. <laughs> 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 there are upsides and downsides to both. You know. When you're the the golf caddy, sure you you get all that sweet puss, mm-hmm. but you only get ten percent of whatever the guy you're caddying for makes. <laughs> <laughs> so if he doesn't ah. make the cut, you're fucked. Yeah, and uh, even if he's the best in the world, you're getting what fifty bucks a year because <laughs> that can't pay well. What I, I think no, I think you make a little bit more than women's basketball. Okay, yeah, sixty five. That's right. That's better. Barbershop Quartet, on the other hand, you can make some real cash. At. <laughs> but I don't look the best in vertical stripes. Yeah. Uh, However, I've, I've already got a mustache. Yeah. I just need to let it grow out a little longer, put some curls on the end of it. 
and I'm good to go. Yeah. Plus, I look good in a straw hat. Yeah. So I'm going to go with the barbershop quartet. You want a quartet together, Jeremy? Just the two of us? Yeah. <laughs> Just two of us. Sure. All yeah. right. I mean, you guys about... We count as two people. Yeah. I'm sure we do. Yeah. <laughs> Way about as much as four people together. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> God damn, he got us again. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I don't know if Vicky's going to be able to replace him. He is just on fire. He sure is. <laughs> uh, well, that's all I got I for don't today. Know. Should we have plastic that close to something that hot? Mm, I don't know. Melt. That might melt. Yeah, yeah that's why it's, it's like putting your DVDs on the radiator. <laughs> 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 well, that's all I got for today's episode, guys. Do you guys have anything at all you wanted to mention before we go? I hate you. Well, oh, well, I. That, I that's the, all I got. The feeling's mutual. Jeremy? Asshole. Nothing. Nothing? I got nothing. I, I wish I could muster up the strength to hate you. Okay, fine. Well, then. But tune, you don't mean enough to me. Tune into an, a new episode of Horse Talk next week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. With our new I host, a- Vicky. <laughs> I'll tell you off the air. Okay, fine. Well, thank you guys so very much. We we sincerely do appreciate it. We should be sharing uh, TikToks and, and commenting again until we get banned uh, on our original page mm-hmm. at Laughing on the Sidelines. So what? go ahead and report us. No, mm-hmm. don't do that. That would really suck. Because maybe we can end this fucking <laughs> nightmare. Uh, but if it does get taken down permanently, you can always find us at uh, the new channel at Laughing on the Sidelines too. Go ahead and subscribe to Electric both. Electric Boogaloo. No. But go ahead and subscribe to the other one because it's probably inevitable eventually. So go ahead and do that for us. But keep on spreading the love for us. We sincerely and do herpes. appreciate it. Keep spreading herpes. That mm-hmm. too. Uh, but thank you guys so much. We uh, we thank you for uh, telling your friends and your family if you like us. But if you don't like us. We hope you get kicked in the face by a horse. <laughs> now that may not sound like much. But with an approximate speed of 200 miles per hour, <laughs> an average <laughs> an average horse can kick with a force of around 2,000 pounds per square inch. <laughs> to put that into perspective, that's more than the hardest punch any professional boxer could ever punch. <laughs> All right. If you don't like us... <laughs> Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. <laughs> <laughs> until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. Ha, 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 ha.